Hey everybody, it's Warren Demartini, and uh, this is um, here at the, the Charvel booth at NAM 2018, and uh, got invited to be on this webcast. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this guitar. And uh, this is uh, Charvel. We call this the Frenchie, and um, this was made probably in 1986, right around when we released a Rat album called Reach for the Sky. And um, basically, Mike Shannon took a Strat and kind of cut around it like this to make this kind of Telecaster edge. And uh, I went to uh, Charvel. At that time, it was, uh, there, it was in San Dimas, California. And, um, and Grover had these blanks, uh, four of them. The one was red, one was white one was black and one was uh, had no finish on it at all so the one with no finish on it at all uh, ended up becoming the snake guitar with because I actually had a real snakeskin uh, that I bought in New Orleans so we uh, a friend of mine applied that to one of the four blanks and uh, the other one uh, the white one became this guitar which uh, which was uh, this says too fast to live too young to die in French or it's supposed to be it's 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 not correct French, but it. I just thought it looked cool, so I, I took the <laughs> this this uh, blank. It was just just primed white to uh, my friend uh, Gene Hunter, who used to play bass in Jake's band in San Diego, a band called Teaser, and um, and he's an uh, an artist. So we we just spent an evening, and I just kind of said, you know, you paint this saying on here, and. Uh, you know, we just kind of applied the clip art where it looked, you know, where it looked like it should go, and uh, yeah, two or three hours, you know, we had we had this uh, this done, you know. So then, uh, after a couple of days, I took the body out to Charvel, and then they they assembled it with a neck and stuff, and that ended up, uh, you know, becoming the Frenchie. This is. Um not the original one from the 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 one back in the 80s this is a uh, a pickup that that Seymour Duncan designed for this whole line that it's uh, it's uh, called the RTM um pickup and that stands for uh Radus Tonius Maximus <laughs> um so that's what this is and uh it's it's kind of and it's quite hot output um what it was was I took the Cross sword uh, Charvel to um, the uh, Seymour Duncan factory in Santa Barbara, and we spent an afternoon uh, putting pick different pickups in it when we started this line back in 2008. And um, it was I was kind of playing it through a through a sort of a cleaner uh, amp didn't have a lot of distortion. So we ended up going with this. So the hotter pickup ended up sounding better that afternoon. And that ended up being the, the, uh, the one. So this is on, on my setup, I tend to back off the distortion a little bit because the output of, of this pickup is quite hot, probably around 17. So that's, that's, that's pretty high. Um, I, I really didn't know at the time that it was, that it was that hot. It just sounded good in the guitars though. We went with it, and then uh, later on, kind of thought, "Wow, it's it's really got a, a lot of output," you know. So, and this is a quarter pounder. Seymour uh, Duncan also. They they the uh, the the earlier ones didn't have um, the neck single coil pickup. I I added that later, like in the in the started using. That uh, sound on my I have a I have a 58 Fender Strat, and I started recording with that sound, probably in the in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and um, I just I just really like the so for certain things I really like the sound of this this pickup in this position. So it was something we just started from scratch when we when we uh, when we did the signature series in 2008. I do, I I, I do. I, it um, just uh, nothing really too planned out. Just I just switched to it, kind of gone on and off through throughout the show.
than the leads. For some for the parts of the leads. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> Well, you know, in the uh, in the seventies, Fender was really they, they, it wasn't real good. Um, in the late, the Leo Fender sold the company to CBS, and and um, so the the for me, the end of the fifties was was the sort of the as it trailed off to what it what 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 it was when Leo was was doing things, and then. By the time the seventies came around, it was it was the, the, that the essence, if you will, was long gone. And uh, uh, Char that, I think that's why Charvel started doing better. And then also because Ed Van Halen played, you know, Charvels. And, and uh, but uh, it was it was trying to get it was trying to get something that that Fender had sort of lost uh, the lost the, the the big picture for a little while. And then and then it, it and then it it got good again, you know. Um, so I think around 2006, 2007, Fender bought Charvel and started, you know, uh, making Charvels, and it really got good again, you know. Uh, so it's just, a, it, for me, it's the modern, um, it's, it's, it's a modern creation of a, of a you know, a 50s, you know, sensibility. I I don't. I just prefer the the uh, maple for some reason. You know, just a I don't know. Like a, I just always drifted to to maple. I, every time I had a rosewood, it just never really lasted with long. It traded or or something. You know. But the maples I always hung on to. The, they, the, you can get them to where the, it, it only uh, goes down. Or they could, the, this one is set up to float. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. So live, I tend, to, I tend to make it so that they don't go, go float. Although um, I do like that, uh, and I use it. Um, in a situation where it's, I'm not moving, it, it, it just tends to kind of the tuning gets a little dodgy during a, 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 sh, uh, a you know a, sh, a rat show anyway. Um, so I I mine are set so that is it also good if in case a string breaks it doesn't completely you don't completely lose the tuning you can finish the song, or if it, if if the bridge is set to float and you break a string you know you can't you have to you have to just stop.